sorry, I'm in your way. That's <laughs> alright. Good evening. Today we are here to witness the joining of two families, the Decolas and the Whalens, Barry and Susan, and I'm very honored to be leading this ceremony. Today, Barry and Susan, we are here to join you in marriage and to share in the joy of this occasion, which would be one of the most memorable and happy days of your life. On this day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from all other human beings. You stand within the special circle of your love, and this is as it should be. But love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Rather, it would serve as a source of common energy, as a form in which you find strength to live your lives with courage. <clears throat> from this day onward, you must come closer together than ever before. You must love one another in sickness and in health, for better and for worse, but at the same time, your love should give you the strength to stand apart, to seek out your unique destinies, to make your special contribution to the world, which is always part of us. Now I'd like to offer a traditional Irish wedding blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, my friend, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Now I'd like to ask Allison to come up to present a reading. Marriage joins two people in the circle of its love by Edmund O'Neill. 
Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It, offer, it offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and an emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. And there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring, caring of a parent or a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and takes a lifetime to fulfill. Being assured that you are aware of the meaning of this ceremony, I will now ask you to repeat the marriage vows. May I have the rings? Do you, Barry, take this woman, Susan, to be your lawful wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish her through sickness and in health, through times of happiness and travail, until death do you part? Place the ring upon her finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed and forever pledge my devotion. <laughs> Do you, Susan, take this man, Barry, to be your lawful wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish him through sickness and in health, through periods of tranquility and travail, until death do you part? Place a ring upon his finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed and forever pledge my devotion. Please join hands. By the act of joining hands, you take yourself to the relation of husband and wife and solemnly promise to love, honor, comfort, and cherish each other so long as you so both live. Therefore, in accordance with the law of Connecticut and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the law of Connecticut, I pronounce you husband and wife. You came to me as two single people, and you will now leave as a married couple, united to each other by the binding contract you have just entered. Your cares, your worries, your pleasures, and your joys you must share with each other. Susan and Barry, may you have a lifetime of happiness. Thank you so much. <laughs> When your tummy aches 
build you a fire if the furnace breaks So it could be so nice Growing old with you